the mass wedding, although one step towards bringing a sense of regularity to the lives of the detainees, was also very much a publicity event. Still, its wide coverage succeeded in bringing the issue of the detained to the forefront of the media. The fact is, there are many, several of whom are being held only on grounds of suspicion. Shifan spoke with DEW Gunasekara, Minister of Rehabilitation and Prison Reforms, to find out more. As Minister for Rehabilitation and Prison Reforms, the rehabilitation of uh, ex-LTD cadres comes under your purview. And we have seen uh, efforts to organize a mass wedding for uh, people recently in Vaunia. Uh, but what is the immediate future looking like for these people? Short, I will say that we had about uh, 12,000 ex-combatants immediately after the war. And of which about 3,000 have been already sent, sent back home. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 8,000 now is in our custody. Uh, to tell you, there are three groups there in that uh, number to 8,000. About 1,300 are hardcore LTT mm -hmm. combatants. Mm. So they are their dependent investigations by the intelligence and the CID and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. If there's any case against them, then of course they will be mm -hmm. prosecuted. Then there are a large number who have been marginally involved in the LTT, yes. and most some people who have been forcefully thrown into the LTT sure. during the course of the war. And uh, we have rehabilitated them and sent them back home. Mm -hmm. And of the children, of course, all have been released. And of the women, about 2,000 women are there. Of the 2,000 women, I think still only about 600 are in our custody, others have been. Mm -hmm. They are given education, catch-up education, Certainly. and vocational training, some found employment and send, send them back. And uh, the other, uh, of course, uh, will be they are in the rehabilitation, in the course of rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. This is part of that program that uh, what really you required from me that we had a wedding ceremony because that is of their own accord and their requests and the, the request of the parents. During the wedding ceremony, uh, many of the couples expressed a wish to get back to their homes again, which leads to, be, uh, to my next question. Uh, as for reintegration, what's been done to reintegrate these people back in their communities? In stage of reintegration, first we'll have to have this catch-up education, in the sense that about 10% of these people have never been to school. Then there are about 60% about who have just attained about eight standard knowledge. Mm -hmm. There were a few graduates and who have passed their O level and A level. Uh, the university students, of course, have been sent back to the universities. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, reintegration of reintegration comes in only after once the rehabilitation process is over. I'd like to ask you a question about detention centers. Some 10 centers were gazetted this year. Uh, in addition to the existence of some 400 other centres. Now, if the need is to send these people back to their homes as uh, soon as possible, why are these centres being set up? You know, so long as they stay there, until then we have to make them more comfortable and make things come convenient for them. So, they have a, I don't want to have the overcrowd in there, unlike in the case of prisons. Prisons are all be, uh, already overcrowded. But in uh, detention camps, they are quite free. Uh, and uh, we want to make them more comfortable, that is why we increase the number of... So this is spread out the... That, yeah, yeah, but the number has not gone up, the All within right. number. All right. So we have reduced the number in each camp, thereby. All right. Another group of people who come under your purview, uh, political prisoners who are being detained under the PTA for indefinite periods of time and their cases are not being heard. What is happening uh, to these people? There are people, of course, uh, that come under the prison department who are in some are in Stain, Veligada, and some are in Boosa. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we'll, I'll have to keep them on so long as the, the, uh, the, the security authorities finalize their investigation. But th some I find that they have been staying for a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have now called for a list uh, of people to find out whether and I want to, if, they are, if the investigations are not proceeding, then mm -hmm. of course I would definitely recommend to the, to the president. Mm -hmm. uh, to that they should be considered for uh, discharge mm -hmm. unless the security officers take action to persuade them. Mm -hmm. Now, the, what are your views on the repeal of the PTA minister? Many people are being held without cases even being heard against them. 
Uh, the, that is a matter which comes under the defense purely. You know, PDA, that's PDA periodically being extended, you know, in, in the sanction of the parliament. So, we don't want to keep that in force uh, more than what is necessary. Mm -hmm. So, at the moment, although the war was over, uh, terrorist uh, tendencies are not yet over. You know, they are throughout the world and it's a, it's a, the international phenomenon is there. So, the government will have to take action from the point of view of national security, uh, the, uh, the need for that. So, we will have to have it so long as the need arises. And now for my final question, it's a little uh, over the years since the war came to an end. What are your views on reconciliation amongst communities, in particular with the Tamil community? Are we on the right track? Uh, that's the biggest, the, the root cause of this whole conflict is, you know, question of language, question of culture, mm -hmm. question of, say, dignity, national dignity or the self-respect of the Tamil people. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the one because a small problem even if re remains uh, not un unresolved, it will turn into a conflict and the conflict it will get into, a, uh, you know, develop into a war. Mm -hmm. That is, I mean, through our own experience, we saw how it gradually developed. So, the, all the war is over. I mean, we have united the people. We have, we rather, we have, we have united the country. But I feel we have not yet united the people. So, the uniting people is the, I think, the sacred uh, uh, issue that is before us and we will have to give highest priority and that is through way of, you know, a political solution which is acceptable to all the communities and all that and also with the consensus of the, the political parties and that is a process. I think government is now committed to that process. I hope that things will come up.